okay in this video tutorial we will learn that how we can operate an npn transistor or simply you can say that any transistor within the so any bjt uh, either it can be uh, npn or pnp but as you usually we we are using npn in our circuit so here we are just simulating the npn one for it first of all you need to go to the uh, library browser and here you need to write current source after after having this current source you need to right click on it and click on edit block to model untitled so now we got our current source here now this current source will be feed it to the base of the transistor to operate it so now take the npn transistor npn transistor okay this one is npn bipolar so add block 2 untitled now we have npn transistor then right here solver configuration this block is very very essential for our p spice models if you don't use this block our design is not going to work also take one ps2 simulink converter that is ps2 simulink converter it is actually the converter of physical signal into the simulink one that is some of the uh, signals in our design are physical and simulinks blocks are not able to communicate with it so we need physical signal to simulink converter also take simulink 2 p ps converter and you got this one okay now we will take voltage sensor sorry uh, voltage control source voltage controlled RC voltage control source okay okay our, our spelling is incorrect so that's why now click it again problem so you are voltage okay wait click on it and we will get control voltage so this one okay right click and add block to and model and title then also take current sensor we need in our circuit so just uh, take it current sensor and right click on it and okay now we have a lot of components now so we are going to implement our circuit as i told you that this npn transistor has three terminals base collector and emitter the mid one is base so we is it is a bjt that is bipolar junction transistor so it is dried by the current source so that is why we are feeding our dc current source to the base of the npn transistor also connect this yes also connect the solver configuration block to dc voltage source now we need to okay now one more thing we also we need that is our electrical reference ground as we know that every circuit needs sorry reference just write reference and f e r e n c e yes reference
and we will find our ground here are you okay wait just write your ground double click on it here we can see a lot of and here is our sinscape electrical reference so click on it okay now we have our electrical reference and we are going to place it here and we will connect it with the negative side of the dc current source and also with the solver configuration then one more thing we need is our what's called as the the signal in order to be given to this controlled voltage source so we will give a signal that is the pulse generator signal or any any signal like this so we will go to the view and library browser and here we will write here sine wave we will double enter okay okay so sine wave and double click Okay, again go to and double click no, sorry okay just write sign and we will see that what will come okay now here we have our sign trigonometric function and here it this is our sine wave so we will also attach it with the what's called as the Untitled one, and now we will flip this block. Sorry, we need to flip this block like uh, this control. I flip so that okay. Now our sine wave will be attached with the simulating to PS converter, simulating to physical signal converter because here sine wave is actually. The physical signal uh, sorry the simulink signal and simulink to ps converter will convert it into the physical signal so we will feed that ps to s into the this controlled voltage source now this voltage is controlled by this by these two blocks so we will we need to directly attach this voltage source to the collector of transistor okay then okay right also also we will place one current sensor to measure the current between between the control voltage source and the what's called as the collector of the NPN and then to the emitter because circuit circuit will be like wait I, I'm explaining to you what will happen that uh, first of all the signal will rise from the sine wave that is sine signal it will be converted from physical signal to the sorry simulating signal to the physical signal and after getting this physical signal voltage controlled will be controlled by this physical signal that is voltage source is being controlled by this physical signal and then due to this voltage creation there must be some current flowing via controlled voltage source to the current sensor then to the collector and then to the emitter and we also need to connect the other part of the control voltage source with that of the what's called as the ground one okay now uh, either current will flow or not we will connect our current sensor with the ps2s signal Okay, now we got PS2S. 
okay now we will go and we will again go to library and here we will choose display we will choose display uh, why we are choosing it because it can display the values of simulink signals any signal like this okay now 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 you can see that we have attached a display okay now when we will run it you can see an error yes this is not enough input data matters are provided on all this so we will double click on it double click on it and we will select this one and we will press ok and we will go now you can see that our simulation runs for 10 seconds okay and we are getting 1.9 uh, what's called is the amperes of units are floating whatsoever they are either they are milliamperes or amperes but we are getting our value from current sensor and that is 1.9 so current sensor okay okay so this is a very brief and short introduction for this npn transistor you can try this circuit at your home and if there's any sort of difficulty then you can comment down i am also teaching this file in the description so hopefully you like that video thanks for watching